No, you're absolutely right. And I, I very much appreciate that about you. You were just talking about this recently. Speaking of Penguin, you were surprised. You have some analytics. Uh, with, is it your oh, online audience? Yeah, yeah. Well, I went to see the people at Penguin Canada today who are publishing 12 Rules for Life. And we were looking at um, online data with regards to my, say, viewership. And online now, according to um, their brand monitoring software, um, 55% of the people that are paying attention to what I'm doing are women. And so this idea, too, that I thought for a long time that the reason that my viewership was disproportionately men was probably because YouTube was disproportionately men. Yeah. You know, so it was just a side consequence of that. I couldn't tell. And I mean, there's lots of things that I am saying that are germane to young men. But I often I thought, well, there's no reason that young women wouldn't be interested in this. It just doesn't seem to be. Wow. Well, maybe YouTube's not the venue. And I have a fairly big Facebook following at the moment. And so there's more. That skews harder towards females. But anyways, the point is, is that, yeah, it doesn't look like my viewership is male dominated. And the public talks I'm doing are about 50-50 now. And, and there are, the crowd's getting older, too, I would say, or at least more diverse across the age span. Yeah. Uh oh, I used that word diverse yeah uh-oh yeah, go next, paint my tongue black after the after the interview. <laughs> next he's gonna have a nose ring and be talking about how problematic things are <laughs> no you know what that's interesting that you say that because we skew very heavily male on on youtube not the same on facebook and uh, our shows are largely male definitely a diverse mm -hmm. age range i would say um but our biggest fans our most engaged fans are women